EMIG task number one, PEG transfer. For this task, you will be provided with two Maryland graspers. You are required to pick a side of the lap trainer to stand on. You must remain on this side for the duration of the task. You may utilize any of the ports on the trainer to perform this task. To perform this task, you will pick up a bead from the pegboard on the base of the lapper bowl, transfer it mid-air to your other hand, and then place it on one of the pegs on the side ball of the lapper bowl. There is no predetermined order for these bead transfers. You will repeat this process until all six beads have been transferred to the side wall pegs. Then you will reverse the process, transferring the beads from the side wall peg to the pegboard again performing a transfer mid-air to your other hand. The maximum time limit for this task is 5 minutes and 30 seconds, or 330 seconds. Time will begin when an instrument appears on the screen. Errors will include dropped beads or incorrect or missed mid-air transfers. Timing begins when an instrument is visible on screen. While you are not required to utilize either your non-dominant or dominant hand, you are required to transfer the bead from the hand that you pick it up with to your other hand before placing it onto the side wall peg. You are required to perform at least one transfer, but you may perform more than one transfer if necessary. You will want to ensure that the sleeve is completely flush to the lapper bowl side wall. Should you require the assistance of both hands after performing a transfer, you are allowed to do so. Once all six sleeves are on the sidewall pegs, you will reverse your process, again performing a transfer mid-air. You are not required to duplicate the exact order but it can be helpful. Should you drop a sleeve, you are required to retrieve it with the hand that you dropped it with and then perform your transfer. You cannot use a drop as your transfer point.